Hey guys, it's Connor here. Welcome back. I hope your weekend is off to a great start so far. Happy Saturday. That means it is time for another edition of the Weekly Wax Chat, which is a video that I like to do every weekend here on my channel where I go through all of what I've been burning, melting, uh, crocking, lamping, everything that I've just been enjoying in home fragrance for the past week. So uh, yeah, we'll discuss the candles that I've been burning. We'll talk about this week's wax melts. I'll talk about what I have burning currently, what I have melting currently, um, and yeah, all the home fragrance things. So um, happy Easter weekend. I hope you guys all have a really great weekend and a good Easter tomorrow on Sunday. Um, we don't really have any special plans. We are just going to be um, enjoying as a family and, uh, you know, just enjoying the nice weekend. We're supposed to have some nice weather, so excited about that. But um, I hope you guys all have a great Easter weekend. I will be burning some Easter type things, I guess. Um, I actually forgot. I wanted to pull this out because I want to share this before um, I forget. But this weekend I do plan on, um, and by the way, I like store home fragrance things down here. So that's what that's for. But um, I was planning this weekend on melting strawberry bunny shortcake from Yankee for Easter. Um, this is from Yankee's Easter collection. And I just... I love it. It's just a really delicious strawberry shortcake buttercream type scent. It's just so good. And honestly, when I smell this, I think of like Easter morning. And so I think that this is probably what I'm going to be melting uh, this weekend. I actually haven't even turned my warmers on yet today. Um, I'm going to after this video and I was going to put in uh, Scentsy's Berry Sweet because it kind of goes with what I'm burning currently, which we'll talk about in a minute. But um, I think I might actually just put this in and then just have it through a Sunday. But um, anyways, let me know what you guys will be burning or melting for Easter. Um, let me know if you're burning any of like the Kringle Easter candles. I actually have one to talk about in today's video. Uh, or maybe you're burning a Yankee Easter candle, uh, Bath and Body Works. Let me know down below in the comments. Um, anyways, let's get into what I'm burning right now. So I'm burning three candles currently at the moment. As you can see, one is right here behind me. And um, I have finally got around to burning these new Kringle um, Fruit Three Wick Collection candles. So um, I'm burning Patinka Peach right back here. That is what's currently going right there in the corner. Um, in the kitchen, I'm looking at it right now, I have the Strawberry Patch. And then in the uh, living room slash family room, I have uh, the Kringle Blueberry Crunch, or sorry, no, Crushed Blueberries, that's what it is. Um, all three of those are burning right now. Um, I love this as a trio. I actually think I'm going to review these three as a trio. So I think I'm actually just gonna put all of them in one video and just do that as one review. Um, obviously I'll talk about each fragrance and then I'll just kind of give you guys like the overall performance and strength and throw rating. Um, but I think I kind of want to try that out just to see how you guys like it. Um, traditionally in the past, I've always done my candle reviews as individual candle reviews where I give a video for each candle, which I really like doing it that way because that helps me to kind of focus on that candle only. It helps me to like really get the point across of like the synth, the uh, performance, burn, strength and throw. Like I have a routine and a method to doing that. But I do think that for some candles, like it might be a little bit easier if I just group them together to review them, especially because I have a lot to review right now. So I think that might be a little bit easier. Um, also though, I kind of want to show you guys like what I like burning together. Like I do plan on burning th these three candles right now at the same time. I plan on doing that for the entire burn because I just like how they smell together. They smell like a fruity medley. You've got the peach, the strawberry, and the blueberry. So. I think that that's how I'm going to review those and I'll be uploading that review sometime next week. So stay tuned for that. Um, I do also plan in the review to compare them to the Homeworks Farm Stand Fruit Collection. 
Um, I know a lot of you have asked me how do the three compare to those three, the farm stand, blueberry, peach, and strawberry. I'll definitely um, compare those because I will say two of them are very similar to the others. And then one of them is definitely not the same, but we'll discuss that in the video. But um, that is what I'm currently burning right now. Um, I will also be pulling out a couple more of those three wicks because I have a lot of them to review. I bought a lot of them both when they arrived, but then also when they went on that buy one, get one sale, I did stock up on a few more as well. So I have quite a few to burn in review. So that's what I'll kind of be working through in April. Um, but yeah, that's what's burning right now. Um, in terms of my candle crock, I do have um, Kringle Lemon Tea and Roses from the Country Candle Collection. Um, if you missed last week's Weekly Wax Chat, I would definitely go back and rewatch that or at least try and get to the part where I talk about that candle because I did end up having some issues with that one that led me to putting it into my crock. Um, basically, I am seeing some issues with the country candles. So these ones right here. Um, what I'm seeing is only in the spring lineup. So um, the new ones that just released a couple months ago for spring and summer. So not the limited edition ones like see this one is one of those limited edition ones. It's not these. It's not the Easter ones. Those did good for me. The ones that I'm noticing performance issues on is the new spring summer candles. Um, I, by the way, did reach out to Kringle. I had a lot of people who told me that they were having similar issues and um, a lot of people asked me to reach out to my contacts at Kringle um, because I guess like they thought, obviously everybody can reach out to Kringle. They have um, their email on their website. You can definitely reach out that way. But because I am an ambassador, I did just kind of want to, um, you know, relay some of the feedback that I've gotten from my viewers to tell them kind of how the performance is. And so I did that and I did let both Mick know. So I let the CEO know. Um, and then I also let um, my ambassador contact Joe, I let him know as well about the issues. And um, they told me that they had reported those issues to the lab and they're going to try and, um, you know, dig into what's happening. So hoping, fingers crossed, that, um, you know, those those issues will get resolved. Um, I've only burned two of the country candles so far from the new spring collection, and both of them have had those performance issues. So I don't know if maybe it's batch issues because I have had other people tell me that theirs did fine, and then I've had people that tell me theirs didn't. So I feel like there's definitely some um, mixture of, you know, feedback on these candles. So obviously, you know, they're not perfect. Um, the new country candles were reformulated only last spring. So they've only been around for a year. So I feel like I can give them some flack for that. I understand that there is a lot of testing that has to happen. There's a lot that goes into it. And um, it's it's hard, you know, and you're not, it's never going to be perfect. There's going to be issues. There's always going to be issues with candles. And as long as we are able to give our feedback to them and then they're actually transparent and um, able to work with that feedback and see changes, then that's, you know, the ultimate goal. And I know Kringle, they are so amazing with feedback. They take um, positive and negative criticism. As long as you're respectful, they will hear you. And um, I've seen Kringle make cho changes that, um, you know, their customers have asked. So I really appreciate that about the brand. And that's why I love working with them as an ambassador is that I know that they are transparent and honest. And when there are issues, they, um, you know, admit that and they make the changes. And so um, I really applaud them for that and I'm definitely expecting to see some changes for the upcoming fall and holiday season um, but yeah anyways that's kind of my little intro there about Kringle and Country I definitely wanted to let you guys know that I reached out because a lot of people were asking me to reach out and I did just want to let you guys know that I did and um, they they told me that they reported it to the lab but um, anyways, let's get into all of the other stuff that I was burning from this week. I have been, honestly, this week has been mostly a finish up all of your March crap week. Um, I obviously, we're at the end of the March. Uh, what is the date even? Where's my phone? I just had it. But 
Um, I think it's the 30th when I'm filming this, and um, I will be filming my March empties video on um, Monday, so that video will go up Monday. Um, so I was kind of really trying to get through a lot of stuff this week just to finish it off to get it in the empties bin and done for the month. Um, I am a type of person who doesn't love clutter, and I don't love to have a lot of half-burned candles, and so I just kind of took... Um, everything that I had reviewed and burned halfway and I was like we're gonna finish this up this week and um, I was really successful I finished a ton of stuff so um, that's mostly what we're talking about this week so uh, let's get right into it by the way I will link uh, product links down below for everything so you can find them there I'll also leave if I have a discount code like I said I am an ambassador with Kringle and Homeworks as well so you can use those codes to save some money they are affiliate codes so I make a small commission back from them but they do just go right back into my channel to review more things for you guys uh, so only use it if you're comfortable of course um and yeah that's it all right so what have i finished this week let's start with bath and body works because i finished two bath and body works candles um first off backyard honeysuckle completely finished the bottom as you can tell um i also finished anna's garden from bath and body works now let me tell you guys i had a pretty good performance from both of these candles right here i think that the anna's garden did a little bit better in terms of like the cleanliness obviously you can see that there's still a little bit of soot on the side of the jar um and definitely some more on the backyard honeysuckle but i mean they both burn pretty well for me um in terms of the scent they're both really nice florals the backyard honeysuckle is just a really pretty authentic honeysuckle scent i love this one so much and then the anna's garden is kind of like a blend of some uh neroli orange blossom that's like the base that i get in here and then i do get like a white tea note as well it kind of smells to me like they took their white tea and sage and added like a um, neroli and also honeysuckle. I kind of get like a honeysuckle vibe in this one as well. But um, they're just both really good florals. I really enjoyed both of these candles. Um, they burn pretty well. They, they did their normal wicks get kind of puny in the midpoint but then they kind of came back alive towards the end um, and they didn't like soot crazy or anything so I would actually repurchase both of these um, they were both amazing for strength and throw they were both kind of right around like that eight to nine range which is just like what I normally get from Bath and Body Works and they were just some really good performers in terms of strength and throw and so if you're looking for um, some stronger fragrances I feel like the florals are normally always super strong and I just think that these are both really pretty um, I keep saying Bath and Body Works is really like doing well with the florals this um, time around this spring um, for example I've also been burning Wild Rose and Suede and we'll talk about this in a minute but this one is new and I love it. They're just doing really good with their florals. I don't think that they always do, to be honest. I feel like they probably excel the most in the fruitier scents, the tropical scents, which I love those as well. But um, I really do enjoy seeing them do well with the florals because um, I love florals. I know not everyone does. Actually, a lot of people don't love florals, but I really do. And so I'm just like personally happy to see that they are coming out with some really good floral candles. So I finished those two, and then let's just go ahead and talk about that Wild Rose and Suede. Um, I started burning this last evening in my bedroom. Um, only one burn out of this one, but I love this scent. Um, coming from someone who doesn't like rose, this is a stunning fragrance. Um, the notes are pink tea rose, soft suede, and warm amber. Um, so I do get a rose note in here but honestly the rose is not um super strong i would say i think i get more of the suede in here and the amber those are mostly the notes that i get in here but it is just a gorgeous fragrance i love this one you guys to me it smells very classic like it almost smells to me like what a classic um like castle would smell like like i don't know why i feel like this candle is what like a really like ancient castle would smell like like in a good way because it has just such a um unique smell to it i don't even know how to explain it it's a little bit perfumey it's definitely musky for sure you've got to like musk to like this one but it is stunning 
It kind of feels like this should be in their Bridgerton collection. They um, just recently did their collab with Bridgerton, which is really cool, by the way. Um, but I feel like this candle would make a lot of sense in that collection. So yeah, they should definitely put that in there. But I'm loving this one. I do need to review it soon. Um, so that will be coming up uh, probably in the next couple of weeks. I still need to burn it a little bit more. But I've really been enjoying that one um, in my bedroom. I put it in there last night and it was just a really pretty uh, bedroom scent. Okay, so those are my Kringle, or sorry, my Bath and Body Works empties. Um, let's get to my Kringle empties, starting off with uh, Easter Blooms from Kringle. I did finish this one up as well. Um, I really enjoyed this one. This was a really nice, um, like watery, floral to me very watery soapy fresh floral it's got some really nice floral notes in there i think it's mostly like jasmine um gardenia maybe um and then maybe like a airiness as well and just like a slight green note but it's just a really like pretty lighter floral if you don't like the super heavy intense florals i feel like this would probably be a little bit more up your alley um i will say i've gotten a lot of feedback about this one saying that a lot of people are not happy with the performance and i will say this was definitely light when i burned it i would probably only put this one at about like a five at most so it was definitely lighter i would definitely want this to have a little bit more oomph oomph strength and throw um and i know a lot of people did too so be w be careful with this one um i know that they are on sale so um i don't think that it's like awful to get these if you like a lighter scent then i think that this one would be perfect for you but i do just want to let you guys know it's a little bit lighter but it's a really pretty scent i really like this one and it does smell like easter so i also just love the label on here i love the mercury blue so pretty so i'm actually just i'm keeping this out for our easter decor um because it just is so pretty so yeah finish that one up and then i haven't finished this one up but um i have burned it really close to the bottom this is uh country candles rainy day i have continued to burn this this week and i do want to finish it up this weekend um this is a really good scent as well Again, it's very watery, kind of ozone-y, fresh. It really does smell like a rainy day. Like it just has like that like rainy smell in the air, if you know what I mean. Um, it's definitely kind of ozone-y, watery, slightly floral. It's got like a slight floralness to it, but it's just a really pretty scent and nice for the springtime. So been burning this. It does really well for me in terms of strength and throw. Um, the burn is great. And like, as you can see, I'm not having those same issues with the wicks that I was with the other country candles. So this one's doing good, a pretty good burn. As you can see, very clean. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one and I will definitely be finishing this one up this weekend. Okay, so those are my Kringle candles for the week. Um, let's discuss homeworks, because I was burning a few homeworks candles this weekend, and I didn't expect to be able to get through all of these and like finish them, but I finished all three this weekend. So uh, Jasmine and White Peach, completely done. I did finally get around to trying this and reviewing it. Um, I, I kind of told the story about this in my review, so go watch it if you want to hear it again. But basically, I love this candle when i smelled it on cold and ulta years ago and i just never ended up picking it up so i finally found it in home goods this year and was like i'm gonna try it and burn it and i love this um i love both jasmine and peach they're both notes that i really enjoy and so putting those notes together just created a really beautiful fragrance um i do feel like at first i got more peach than jasmine but now that i smell it and like after i burn it i feel like this is actually more jasmine heavy than peach although it's got a really nice peach note i would say it's about like 75 percent jasmine 25 percent peach maybe that's a little bit much on the jasmine maybe more like 65 percent jasmine and then you know the rest is peach i'm not good at math so do that in your head but yeah i really enjoyed this one nonetheless it was just a good fruity floral scent um good performance this one had a great strength and throw the burn was good i didn't have any issues with that um, in terms of all three of these, no issues with the burns. They both did well, no puny wicks, no um, issues like that. Um, 
The other ones that I burn were Coastal Sands. This is another one that I've never tried before, but it's uh, one that I always kind of smelled and just enjoyed it, but I finally bought it and burned it and really enjoy this one. Um, it's Salted Sands, Beach Rose, Bergamot Waters, and Neroli. This does have a really pretty Neroli base to it, so it's like an orange blossom, muskier scent. Um, and then it does have like a slight like beach rose fragrance to it as well. It's definitely got a floralness to it, but it's just a really pretty scent. And um, I said in the review that I think that this one could make a beautiful perfume. So if Harry ever got into personal fragrance, I think that this is one that he should definitely convert over to um, a perfume or have, have Laura do it. Send this to her because I feel like Laura would love this scent. This seems like it would be something right up Laura's alley. It's just a really pretty, like, beachy, perfumey scent. And I feel like Laura would definitely have this in her beach house. So, yeah. Really enjoyed this. Would definitely purchase again. Um, I would purchase both of these again. They were really good scents. And then the third one that I burn, I know I'm super late. Um, fresh Start from Homeworks. This is a New Year's candle. Um, and I talked about in the video why I waited so long to burn it. I am not a um, person that can just like burn whatever scent whenever. I'm very seasonal, I'm very structured, and that's probably not a great thing, but that's just how I like my own fragrance. So I wasn't quite ready for this scent when I got it in December. I was still burning holiday scents. And so I put this one to the side and uh, decided to burn it here in late March when the weather was a little bit nicer. Um, the notes on here are crisp, salt air, sparkling citrus, orange blossom, oak moss. Once again, we've got a neroli orange blossom. Lots of neroli in this week's uh, fragrance picks, but yeah, I loved this one. This was really pretty. It definitely has a orange blossom neroli at the front. Um, it does kind of have that like salty fresh air note as well. And then there is just like a woodsy base to it too with that oak moss note. But yeah, this one is really pretty um, and I really enjoyed it. So I would definitely repurchase this one again. Um, by the way, disclaimer, this one was sent in PR by Homeworks. So um, yeah, I did not pay for it, but I really liked it. It performed good for me. It was a very strong handle. I would put this one at about like a seven and a half, eight. So it did really well for me. Um, and yeah, I just enjoyed this all together. So that is fresh start from Homeworks going into the empties bin. And then my last candle to share from Yankees Friday Collective. I did finish shower playlist to the bottom. Um, I really liked this one. It was a very soapy scent. Like it smells like you walked into a shower like it really does it's got a very clean uh, soapy smell to it but i really enjoyed this one in my bedroom um had a pretty clean burn as you can see just a little bit of soot on the sides but i mean it did pretty good these do tunnel a little bit on me but once you get to the bottom it just kind of evens out by then and um this one was also really strong in a bedroom i wouldn't expect that this one would like fill up like your entire house or anything or even just like a room in your house if it's open concept but for a smaller area like a bedroom or a bathroom this is a perfect little candle to put in there um but it is a really strong scent in general so i didn't burn it in like an open area, but I think that this maybe could be one that would do well in an open area. So those were all of the candles from this week. And then let's finish off with the wax melts for the week. I might already talk about this very sweet, so I'm gonna put this to the side. So what did I actually melt through? I only got through two wax melts this week and um, I would normally get through more than this, but honestly, both of these ones from Scentsy had a very long um, amount of time that they lasted. Um, I normally get about two, three days from my Scentsy Max, but both of these were like on like the four day range, which is not normal from Scentsy. They normally die out by that point, considering I leave my warmers on all day long. Um, I turn them off when I go to bed, but I leave them on from morning when I wake up until night when I go to sleep. It's the last thing and the first thing that I do every day. And these lasted forever, which I really liked both of these, so I'm okay with that. But um, that's kind of why I didn't get through a ton of wax this week, it's just because I kept using these ones. Um, but Apricot Vanilla from Scentsy, um, I really liked this one. I'm not always the biggest apricot person in terms of home fragrance. It's just one of those notes that I don't always love, but I did actually really like this one. 
it kind of has like a apricot peachy smell to it and then you definitely get a very creamy vanilla in here as well and i really liked this so this was nice um enjoyed this it went with a lot of like the fruitier candles that i was melting and then um this is peach and grapefruit mimosa which i actually included this on my top um six spring scentsy recommendations in the video that i did yesterday on friday definitely check out that video if you missed it but i fell in love with this one you guys this was a really good blend of peach and grapefruit so you do get the citrusiness and the tartness from the grapefruit but then the peach gives it some really nice sweetness and um it just is so good i would totally purchase this again um i think someone told me it was from the easter collection so if you're wanting to get this one i think it is limited edition so i would definitely hop on it and um i do want more of this definitely so I will probably place another Scentsy order this summer, which I know is crazy to even say, because if you saw my haul earlier this month, I got quite a lot for the spring and summer, but there are some things that I want more of. So I will probably uh, buy those just to have some backups. And this will definitely be one that I would uh, stock up on. So yeah, guys, that is everything from Home Fragrance this week. Um, I am really proud of myself for getting through a lot of different empties and um you know trying to get some of the stuff out of my house before the end of the month so stay tuned for all of what i finished this month that video will be up on monday definitely watch that because i feel like i've gone through a lot this month so that's really good um for it being a very busy month in home fragrance i feel like we've had a lot of newness and just things to talk about and to burn so there's a lot of stuff in that bin so stay tuned on monday but thanks so much for watching guys uh let me know down below in the comments what have you been burning um and melting or using in home fragrance this week i would love to hear it down below in the comments uh make sure to like and subscribe if you are new and have a great easter weekend i will be taking um a little video break for sunday so i won't be here on sunday uh so i hope you all all enjoy your Easter and um, yeah, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.